Hello guys and welcome to episode 1 of my FIFA 18 Road to Glory World Cup with Ireland. I hope you are all excited as much as I am. If so, smash the like button and yeah, let's kickstart episode 1. As you can see, this is the groups that, uh, group that we do have. Uh, we have Germany, Costa Rica and Serbia and other groups. Group A, we have Brazil, Sweden, Iran, Mexico, Group B, Spain, Denmark, uh, Croatia, France and then of course we have us. Group D is Belgium, Senegal, uh, Egypt, Korea, Republic. Uh, group E is Russia, Australia, Peru, uh, Nigeria. Group F, Portugal, Iceland, Morocco, and uh, Japan. So, um, tough enough group there. Group G is Poland, uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, Tunisia, and England. And then Group H is Argentina, Switzerland, Colombia, and Uruguay. So, probably the group of debt uh, de in and uh, this World Cup is probably Group B, a very tough group there of uh, Spain, Denmark, Croatia and France. Very tough group to get out of, especially for Denmark and Croatia, but Denmark aren't doing too bad at the moment. First uh, game and they got all three points against uh, Croatia, as France did of course lose 3 nil against Spain. So yeah, uh, first uh, match of the group stage is against uh, Germany, so this is going to be a tough enough uh, first match to kick start this um, World Glory with Ireland, uh, as you, as you uh, could probably tell, Ireland are not in the World Cup, so I decided to do a custom draw, so I put them in and just see how far we can get with them, hopefully to the final and maybe win the World Cup, but yeah, uh, we are playing as a Kazarina, Kazanarina even, um, world class, uh, it's meant to be, oh I can't change the weather can I, I was going to change the weather because I don't like, I don't like rainy weather, but we have to go with it, and yeah, so we're playing the Kazan Arena, uh, Arena 16th of June 2018, kickoff is 1 o'clock, referee Toby Ellerington and my difficulty is world class, so yeah, let's see how we do get on against world champions um, Germany, and let's hope for a win. Come on Ireland, come on Ireland, let's try and beat this world champions Germany, tough game it's going to be, I just have a feeling. Uh, I know who will be controlling the midfield, Ozil will be of Arsenal, very tough playing against him, uh, FIFA, very good player, as you see first attack and first goal and Germany have gone ahead and after only 2 minutes, that is not good from Draxler, very good player Draxler is, hoping Arsenal can sign him in real life, but yeah, not a very good start to this World Cup campaign and we are already 1-0 down against the world champions through 2 minutes, that is just not the best start and let's hope we can um, possibly bounce back from this and maybe get an equaliser early but at the moment it's not looking good uh, as we are on our first attack of the game and here's Shane Long for Ireland we're going to have to pass in low to Hendrick and that is the equaliser crucial goal in this game because it's never going to be an easy game against Germany and they are we're obviously going to be on the back uh, for all game but lifeline for us and we are now uh, drawn with Germany, good passing movement here, good build up play, a uh, good finish there from Hendrik and uh, no chance for Neuer and yeah so 1-0 to Ireland and we've finally broken through and punished their defence with the first attack of the game and Joachim Lowe does not look happy at all and that is one all now and 19, only 19 minutes played and Jeff Hendrik is the scorer and that is good news for Ireland. Uh, here's Ozil, strike, top corner, and Germany are back, 2-1, and again, just being able to get through our defence and punish it straight away, and this is why Germany are regarded as one of the best teams in the world, our best countries even. Good strike there, I must say, from Ozil, and we are now behind yet again. Just as we were getting a hold in this game, they break through and score on us and punish us as well. And low cross and that is 3-1. Yep, game, set, match, we're not coming back from this. 3-1 down against the reigning world champions, it's just not going to happen. 39 play, minutes play and we are being destroyed. And we're just not good enough, we just don't have the right squad. 
Um, we, we need to get out of this group stage if we have any chance of winning the World Cup, which is obvious. I don't know why I said that, but yeah, we need to get out of this group stage um, and hopefully pull a good form or a good run of results in knockout stages. Ferner. Oh, fuck off. 4 1. We're being demolished from. Ugh, being demolished by the world champions, and this is not good. This is not good. It is proving to be a much more difficult task than I thought it was going to be. And we are just being absolutely fucked around the park by them. And that is 5 1. Fuck! It's just not good at all. And it's now double from Jack's today. He has his own brace. And it is full time. And we have lost 5 1 against the world champions. Yeah, didn't go according to plan, I don't think. So, yeah. Um, first game in the books now. Uh, it's not off the best of results against a very strong German opposition. But anyway, we have two easy games coming up against Serbia and Costa Rica. We'll see what happens, uh, what's happening around the grounds now. As you see, we have. Won, I lost one game, and Serbia have won against Costa Rica. So yeah, Costa Rica probably will be finishing last if we don't, um, if we finish both them. So yeah, second game of the group stage is against Serbia. Very nervous this game, especially after that performance in the last game, and we are at the Samara Arena. So yeah, let's hope for a better result and possibly a W. Here's Hendrik. We're going to pass it to Hendrik. That was great. one two, And we are one nil up against... Ah, oh, freaking hell. Yes! one nil up against uh, Serbia. And that is such a good goal. Beautiful, beautiful passes. Uh, one twos, And we are now one nil up against, um, against the Serbians. And that is so ideal because we are near half-time. And it is what we needed to hopefully snatch all three points and possibly uh, go second in the group, if not first. I mean, if not uh, third. Here's McLean. Try and find a gap. To Hendrik and it's 2 0 up. And just before half time, on the stroke of half time as well. That is ideal. And we are now 2 0 up against Serbia. And uh, it does kind of look like we will. Uh, go and get uh, go and get three points and possibly go second. All depends on results, uh, but at the moment it looks like we are going to be finishing third um, after this game, and then possibly finishing second if we win against Costa Rica. But anyway, don't want to be getting ahead of ourselves uh, too much, and we are now two 0 up against Serbia. And true ball to whatever your man's name is, I can't pronounce. And they've got one back, and it's now 2 1. Oh, shite. I don't actually fucking believe it. We've just thrown away. It all comes down to the next game whether we advance into. Oh, fuck. It all comes down to the next game. This is a crucial game, and I fucking can't stand FIFA sometimes. I was bullshit and um, we have now ah how have we drawn that game that is just not good fuck and Costa Rica it looks like we could possibly be going out so looking at the goal difference uh, for group C we need to win Costa Rica by five goals The real question is, will we do it? Anyway, it all comes down to the final group stage match. And yeah, I will join you when we get into the action. And possibly hope uh, that Serbia do lose against Germany. But we have Shane Long in. Shane Long shoots and it's 1-0. Oh, it's and they have just equalised. Oh, what a cross and what a goal. 2-1. Clark shoots. Fuck, it should have been... 
to Shane Long. Someone score. And they have Brady. And we are now 3 1 up. Possibly there's a lifeline now that we can possibly go through to the knockout stages. By the way, there's loads of cheering in the stadium. Maybe it could be a positive. Maybe. Uh, we could be going through to the knockout stages, but the possibility of it happening is pretty unlikely. And that is it. We are out of the World Cup. But everyone's cheering. Could that mean that they lost by a lot? Okay, let's see now. Nope. Ah. <sighs> We're out of the World Cup. Well, that Rose Glory went magnificently. Just, yeah, I don't know if this is going to get on YouTube because, well, we did absolute shite, but I hope you did enjoy. If so, smash that like button. And yeah, I will see you in the Ultimate Team Rose Glory, which is starting really soon. Bye bye.